Hello there and welcome to the series of videos going through the content of A-Level Further Maths. Here we're looking at how we would find the shortest distance between a parallel line and a plane. So we can answer questions from exercise 9f. Okay, so here is our question here then. The equation L1 is this thing here and the equation of plane is this thing here. Part A is proof that the line and the plane are parallel and part B is find the shortest distance between L1 and the plane. So this is a diagram of the question here. We have the uh, line with vector equation 3, 2, 1 plus lambda 3, minus 1, 2. And we have the plane with a perpendicular vector of 1, 3, 0. So what we're looking to find is the shortest distance between the plane and the line. Okay. So to prove that they have no intersection points, well, let's try and find an intersection point by substituting in the equation of the line into the equation of the plane. That's how we find intersection points between lines and planes. So let's go ahead and do that. So it's substituting the whole vector of the line dotted with the um, normal vector equals 10. Expand out your dot product. And all of a sudden, I think we see here that this 3 lambda here and this minus 3 lambda here um, is, uh, cancels each other out. So that therefore, this problem here is unsolvable. Or in other words, there is no solution to this equation. So as there is no solution to this equation, the two lines, the, two, the, pl the line and the plane, must be parallel and therefore do not intersect. Okay, so how are we going to approach this next problem in part B then? So given that the line and the plane are parallel, the shortest distance between the line and the plane will be constant throughout the line. Therefore, we can treat this problem as the same as the shortest distance between a point and the plane. So that makes it really nice and easy. So we're going to assume here that we're going to start at this point here of 3, 2, 1. It doesn't really matter what direction vector we're going in here because the same distance will apply throughout the question. So it's a nice easy problem actually. Work out the distance between this point and this plane and just use the formula that's in your formula booklet. So we're going to apply this formula here. Substitute in your values. Remember it's alpha is 3, beta is uh, 2, gamma is 1 and this is the value n1, n2 and n3 down here. The d value is this thing at the end of the equation here. So it's going to be 1 times 3, add 2 times 3, add 1 times 0, minus 10 d, over the square root of 1 squared plus 3 squared plus 0 squared, and calculate that value, and we get 1 over root 10. Okay, so it's as simple as that. That is the answer between the shortest, the shortest distance between the line and the plane. Your turn to have a go at a question now. Pause the video and try this one out. Okay, so in this question here, all we're looking to find is the shortest distance between a line and a parallel line and a plane. Just check that the two are parallel. So if we were to go ahead and substitute in here, um, we're going to get 3 um, minus lambda minus 4 plus lambda and 7 plus 2 lambda dotted with 3 minus 1, 2. And let's see what we get here. We're going to get 9 minus 3 lambda. We're going to get plus 4 minus lambda. And we're going to get 14 plus 4 lambda equals 0. No, equals 14. Uh, so the lambdas, unfortunately, here will be cancelling out. So no solution. Hence, parallel. Okay, so moving on to actually going ahead and finding the shortest distance now. So what do we have to do here? Well, it's just going to be the shortest distance between this point and this plane. So what we're going to do here then is substitute it into the formula. So it's going to be the modulus of 3 times 3. Add minus 4 times minus 1. Add 2 times 7. Minus 14 all divided by the square root distance between 3 squared, 1 squared, and 2 squared. Okay, so calculating this now, we've got 9 here plus 4 here, which is 13, 
and then these two bits cancel out, so it's going to be 13 over the square root of 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So it's going to be square root 13 over square root 14. Grab your calculator, 13 over root 14. And we get an answer of, in decimals, 3.47 to three significant figures. Okay, so that's how you do this question here. Right, so um, it's as easy as just finding the shortest distance between a point and a line when things are being parallel, because it doesn't really matter where along this plane you're finding the shortest distance from. Um, it's just going to be it's just going to be a shortest distance constant throughout that whole parallel line. So just choose the easiest point that you know is definitely on that line, which is your starting coordinate. Okay, so there are a couple of exercises in it, in uh, 9F that correspond to this, but feel free to have a look at the next set of videos which um, which we're going to describe to complete exercise 9F. Okay, thanks for watching.